guys, Rachel here, and July 31st was Harry Potter's birthday, so this video is quite a bit late, but better late than never, right? And is there any time that's not a good time for Harry Potter-inspired art? I didn't think so. I really like Harry Potter, but it's not like I'm obsessed or anything. <laughs> yeah, definitely not obsessed. Definitely not. Art footage. So I actually painted this at my grandparents' house, so sorry I don't have the footage of me actually painting the painting. But I will be adding to it, so stay tuned. I actually painted this last year, the night before Harry Potter's birthday, and I totally spent all night painting it, actually. I just put on painter's tape and then I painted Harry in. Since now I have the painting, it's not really exactly how I had it in my head. It's like detailed but vague and obscure a little. So in my head, Harry is looking into the Sword of Gryffindor and that is what I'm going to create here. I bought a frame that kind of looks Harry Potter-ish and I just took the glass out of it and I'm painting onto the glass because I really like the details in my painting and I don't want to paint over those. So I'm just going to paint on the glass because I wanted it transparent, I am taping up the whole piece of glass because I did try this before and it just got all over the back and everything because my hands got all messy and it got messy and it was not so fun. The second time doing it was a lot easier and a lot less messy and not just because of the tape. I guess I figured out how to pour it. I used the Liquitex pouring medium. I started out by adding just a little bit of silver acrylic paint to it and mixing it up and then pouring it all over the, the front, which actually in the middle part was pointless, but on the sides it still kind of had a little effect. Then I taped off the middle and I painted in the white reflection with the Liquitex pouring medium, metallic white acrylic paint, and silver paint. And then I just poured it on the sides I just let that dry. Once dry, I am taking off the painter's tape of just the center section. And sadly, with the tape came the silver. I was originally going to do it with two pieces of glass and then I didn't think it would fit in the frame, so I just did it on one. Then I took Liquitex pouring medium and some black metallic acrylic paint and mixed it together to make kind of like a transparent black because I still wanted you to be able to see his face through at least some of the letters that N is covering his eye and I really wanted you to see some of his eye. I didn't want it to be too obscure. I love the font. It's such a gorgeous font. I don't know why. I just love the little diamond in the O and on the dot that dots the I. I don't know. I just love the feel. It's a, it's a great font. Yeah. Highly recommend. The words will be upside down because I wanted it to look like Harry picked up the sword and looked into it to see his reflection. Because, like, maybe Hermione told him that he had dirt on his face. Big disgrace. Kicking your cane all over the place. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, maybe someone cast a Cantus spell on me. That makes you burst into song uncontrollably. Though it was only in the video game. Don't you love Wikipedia? You can learn so much. My original idea is that Harry's face is being reflected into the Sword of Gryffindor. If you didn't get that in the beginning, totally understandable. If you did, great imagination and 10 points to Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor! Whichever house you're in. You know, whatevs. Anywho, without the silver paint there, it just didn't look right. So I took some silver acrylic paint, watered it down a ton, and then just dabbed it all over around the letterings, not on the letterings. I tried to stay a little clear of the lettering. If I hadn't used Liquitex pouring medium, I don't think I would have been able to do that because acrylics are water-based and it would have probably just soaked up the water and shriveled up and died kind of literally i really do like how it turned out i just feel like it's at the battle of hogwarts and there's a bunch of black smoke because you know that's what happens when things explode so that's how i feel like it ended up and i really actually quite like that and here's the finished piece i will see you guys next Oh yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't forgotten.
Don't roll, remember all. And remember, never put your wand in your back pocket. Many wizards have lost buttocks because of it. Accio subscribers! Did it work? <laughs>